What's up guys? I'm Dan. And I'm Danny. And we're back with another, you guessed it, seltzer review. One that I did not know was out until just recently. I think you might have mentioned it, didn't you? No. Lemonada? No, you never said this one was out? No. Never knew anything about it. Well, literally yesterday the rep told me that this was out. I said, yes, bring a case in. Why not? I think one sold the instant I put it on the floor. So people clearly want new seltzers, guys. It's like trying something new all yep. the time. We just like new things. Let's be honest. We'll try it so you don't have to before you get it. Exactly. And I think we did do a review on the original pack of Corona and then the number two pack. I think yep. we reviewed both of them. Typically, me and Danny like these because they're drier. They don't have the artificial flavoring. Um, but this one's lemonade this time. So, and don't mind our dog Max. <laughs> He's just being crazy in the background. So yeah, Corona Hard Seltzer Limonada, AKA Lemonade. Um, flavors, we have grapefruit, lemon lime, watermelon, and strawberry. So uh, I like these flavors. I think it's fitting for Corona. Um, it is the standard 100 calories. And I think that, I think this is higher though. The carbohydrates are three grams of carb. Uh, total sugar, three grams. That I think this was all zeros across the board. So I don't know why that is. I think it's because there's juice in here. So let me see. Real juice. Why don't you read the ingredients? Oh, it's one percent juice. Okay. But ingredients: carbonated water, alcohol from sugar. Cane sugar. No, alcohol from sugar. And, and then, then cane, cane sugar. sugar. Yep. Well, if you want me to read it, Dan. Sorry, go ahead, my damn. <laughs> Natural flavors, Mexican lime juice concentrate, citric acid, lemon juice concentrate. But each flavor might have the other, um, the other juice flavorings or whatever. Right. Or right. concentrate. So we don't have stevia. Um, no. Okay, we don't have stevia. No stevia. So nah, it's quiet. <laughs> He's uh, again after his uh, puzzle. <laughs> Actually, keep going. Have fun. That's all right. We're all having fun. Here. Um, what do you want to start with? Classic. Classic lime. Yeah. Lemon lime. I think Got that's to. fair to start. So I still like yeah. that it's. Oh wait, and it's four and a half percent. So I think that's what uh, Corona usually is. Is four and a half percent. What was the price point? Uh, I think this is still, yeah, it is. It's $17.99. Again, bigger box yeah. stores, you're going to have $15.99. But at Hanson Foods, it's $17.99. Okay. Yeah. And can is. Nice. nice. Good packaging. Yeah. Yellow it sticks out in the crowd. Um, good packaging. Mm -hmm. Ooh, very spritzy. Very spritzy. Spritzy. Yeah, that looks good. Clear, Oops. clear, clear, clear. No Spilled. color on this. Aroma. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Look, he's gonna drink and so are we. It That's, smells yeah. good. It smells right. like it smells very fresh lime, like lime juice or lime cut up lime was squeezed into this. Uh, it does yeah. have a lemony kind of sprite quality to it. Uh, zesty lemon, zesty lime. It smells legit. It doesn't smell uh, artificial. Yeah. Lemon lime. Mm. Yes, sir. I don't know um, a little bit if of I really tartness. get a lemonade, though. I kind of do. There's a little, there's a fine, small tartness on the back end, like ever so slight, but it could be because like, of the lime. Yeah, I feel like it kind of just tastes like their normal um, seltzer, their, the Corona lime I think seltzer. it goes a step further. I think the back end has just a dash more uh, sweetness slash uh, tart lemon lime thing. I think that juice comes out a little bit. Yeah. But it, so... Again, if you like very bold flavors, this might not be for you right off the bat because I know that uh, the stevia is not in this. Yeah. Correct? Yeah, it finishes kind of dry and stuff. So. It's dry all the way through. Lemon lime on the back end, I like it. Uh, where are we going? Um, grapefruit. Grapefruit. While Dan opens it, I'm going to let Knox out because I think otherwise he'll pee on the floor. <laughs> so you do that. <laughs> this is on the fly. I could cut that out. I'm not going to. No, we don't do it. One cut. I'm not cutting. Okay, what side? Okay, I'll pour for you. Beautiful. That way you guys know that when, when we do a review, we don't BS you. It's we, not rehearsed. We give you what it is. <laughs> okay. Grapefruit. That is like Paloma Ooh, vibes. Paloma that vibes. Good. Straight up like hardcore Paloma vibes. Zesty, mm. zesty grapefruit. Yeah, that smells really good. Yeah, that smells amazing. But, uh, is there like a little bit of chill haze in there? Yeah, maybe a little bit. But I don't know if it's because it's just cold, but let's go for it. 
Mmm. Yeah, that's wild. Sounds good. That's super tasty. Yeah, these not work. As, not really sweet. It's got a slight sweetness to it, like way more than Corona normally does. But for them, mm. this is quite sweet on the Corona level. Now, if you do Truly and uh, um, other lemonade seltzers, this is not going to be as sweet or bold. But if you like natural flavors mm -hmm. and drinkability and longevity in the game, these are great. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm still kind of missing the... But maybe I'm just because I'm comparing it to the other lemonades. That's why. That's what I'm saying, because it kind of can get lost in the shuffle. The others are so sweet. Yeah. But this this is an added sweetness for Corona without a doubt, in my opinion. Yeah, it definitely um, has a little bit more sweetness than mm. their original seltzers, but for me, I'm kind of so far missing the lemonade aspect. That's fair, and I think that's because, again, 4.5%, mm -hmm. light... Uh, quite dry, you know, but I, I thought that was zesty grapefruit yeah, that all was really day good. long. Like, and I, I got a little bit that of like, wasn't like juicy. A, yeah, it wasn't too. like an artificial weird taste. No, I think that grapefruit one is incredible. Watermelon. Watermelon. So, disclaimer, this is usually a, a hit or a miss. Usually a miss for me on watermelon. Yeah. Okay. Kind of has like a little sour watermelon. It is. It's like a uh, sour candied watermelon. Mm -hmm. A little sucker dum dum thing in there too. Yeah. Boom. Cheers, watermelon. That's pretty sweet for that's sweet for Corona. That is um Jolly Rancher, Jolly Rancher watermelon to me a little but bit. But it's not as like candied, sweet, weird that a lot of the watermelons. It. It finishes really dry. I think it's more drinkable than the other one. I think this sour thing is coming in because of that lime juice on the mm -hmm. back end. I think that's all playing a role here. Yeah. Because there is that slight acidic tartness on the back end. I think it is that lime juice playing on the carbonation, too. Mm. It was good. It's different. It's like a, it's, it's a limey watermelon. Yeah. It's just kind of different, you know? Mm-hmm. Strawberry. But that's what they all have. Like, mm -hmm. all of the um, front labels mm -hmm. has... The lemon and the lime <clears throat> on the side of the other fruit. I mean, imported from Mexico. I mean, what do you want? Mexicana. Strawberry. Another flavor that can yeah. be tough, you know? Just can a very, and, and maybe watermelon and strawberry. We, I don't know how well this will go with lime, you know what I'm saying? I don't get a huge strawberry burst on this, but strawberry is a hard one to, to nail because it's a watery fruit. Yeah, I get a little Slight strawberry, but a little bit artificial strawberry. I don't think this... A lot of lime, though. Yeah, I don't think this has a ton of uh, aromatics to it, to be honest. I think it's lacking a little bit. They're lagging behind mm -hmm. the others. Check it out, strawberry. Way more flavor than I thought. Yeah. The nose does not reflect what you taste. Not artificial strawberry. No. It has like a... I, I think... I like this. Okay, hear me out. Limey Spritey. Hear me out, though. Okay. A little bit of, like, a weed hint. Like, I don't know. It's Dankness? Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't see that. No? I don't get it as much as you might. I don't might. know. Maybe it's just I think it's just the way that, like, this lime juice is playing on this little bit of, like, uh, fruitiness. You know, it's just, it's just an interesting combination of flavors. Um... Very, very tough to to make. I think in in beverage form, it always is. Mm -hmm. I mean, in beer, strawberry beers are tough without concentrated juices or or uh, additional flavorings. Yeah. Um, I like this. It just tastes like a fruity lime seltzer to me, though. It's it's not. I don't think I could pick up that strawberry blend. No, I might have thought like maybe like a mixed berry or something. Mm -hmm. Hey, pretty good. These are I different. Them all. I like them. I I think. I think these are good for 100 calories. I think they're very flavorful for even Corona, even more flavor than what we're used to from Corona. Um, again, if you like very, very bold, truly lemonade, these might not be yeah. for you, but these are quite a step up in flavor from the last packs that Corona dropped. Yeah, they're not as sweet as the other lemonades that we've had for sure, though. How would you rank these? Um, I would definitely put grapefruit that first. Was that was good. Um, I thought it had the most, like, 
natural fruit. Zesty. Flavor. Grapefruit. Super zesty. Watermelon, second. Okay. Classic lemon lime, third. Strawberries, last for me. That's fair. Let me see. I think I like the lemon lime, though. Yeah. I mean, it's classic. It's like a, you know, when you're having a classic margarita. It's pretty sour. Yeah. It's pretty sour in the lime juice. I'm going to switch. I think I'm going to go, let me see. But the grapefruit definitely has the most, like, natural fruit. Absolutely, and that's why grapefruit it. slams, I think, all three of these. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good. So I'm going to go grapefruit, lemon, lime, strawberry, watermelon. Just watermelon's hit and miss for me. Uh, it is what it is. I, do we stamp these? I would because they're dry. I like them, but, I mean, I don't know. As far as I'm sticking to, like, they're not really, like, lemonade for me. Okay, we are not going to stamp this with the Dan Danny a seltzer approval, but you know They're what? They're all good. Very good. Cool. I highly recommend these. It's a great pack. If you guys like something to trim the waistline, keep you nice and fit for summer, very good option. Something that's actually quite bold from Corona. Uh, great flavoring on these, I think. Just different. It's lime juice. It's natural. A uh, whole different ball game. So it is what it is. This has been the Corona Lemonada Hard Seltzer Review, guys. You know what it is. Subscribe to the channel. We are growing at an intense rate. Let's see if we can get to 1,000 subscribers from you guys. I'm Dan. And I'm Danny. Catch you guys on the next review. Cheers. See ya.